Hey guys, this is the last fan in my fans kicking around my shop that I never uh, assembled. Um, obviously I have tons of fans packed away that I've never assembled, but um, these are the ones that were hanging in various places around my shop that had never actually been put together. Uh, most were Evergoes, and this is the uh, last of the three. It's a Leslie Lock, presumably made by Evergo. It's a model DF484. 48 inch antique brass with the baseball bat blades. Um, I happen to really like this style of fan with the odd shaped blades and everything. I feel like if they made this in brushed nickel with these same blades, uh, same blade finish, they could sell it today. You know, I feel like it would uh, sell in today's market. <clears throat> so, we got the. Uh, New testing rig over here. This is the third fan, third video with the new testing rig. And uh, I think we're ready to go. What do we got there? Amp meter, capacitor. Yep, but it looks like we're ready to go. I'm going to just sort of ready. I'll move that all the way to the end. But we're on zero microfarads. Let's bump it to one microfarad, 0 0.04, two, point one, three. 0.15. I'm surprised it hasn't started at 0.15. 4. 0.2. Okay. That's four, five. So I guess this would be a good candidate for a uh, four seven eleven control since it starts on four. Five is point two six. Six. Point three one. Seven point three five. Eight point four. It's rated at point seven amps, by the way. As was the first ever go. The second one is rated at one amp. Nine point four five. Eight point four nine. Okay. All the way back to zero. Ten. Point four four eleven point four eight twelve point five two thirteen point five five fourteen point five seven point five eight now fifteen point six Sixteen point six three, seventeen point six four, eighteen point six six, point six seven, now we're up to twenty, point six eight. Let's jump ahead to thirty and just see the difference. Point seven four. And then let's go all the way to high. Point seven seven and went down to point seven four. So not a big difference. These forty eight inch wood bladed Evergoes go extremely fast and have a shallow blade pitch and as a result they behave a lot more like an industrial than they do like a residential fan. So you get more airflow from them at a distance. Wow. This one's doing quite good at a distance. This is a uh, better than some industrials. I'm surprised. It's not as much as a gold line, but it's better than a lot of industrials. Okay. But then just like many industrials, you go directly under it, you don't get as much. This one's in beautiful shape. Okay, what's next? Take that back to zero. All these to zero. And we'll let it spin down.
I don't know if anybody watching my video lives in an area where there's a Noodles and Company. It's a, one of my preferred chain restaurants. I'm not big on chains, but I like Noodles and Company a lot. And uh, they've gone through several different decors over the years, but the, the decor that most of the locations had before the current one, I thought these fans would have fit in perfectly. There was one Noodles and Company here that had fans. They had the Dayton's with the switch housing. They're gone, though. Okay, solid state. 0 0.07. Oh, I hear it buzzing already. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, 17 will do it. It's funny, I thought it wouldn't start at 17 with the capacitors. Maybe it was 15 that it wouldn't start at. Well, there we are. By the way, none of this does anything when the solid state control is engaged. This does. All it does is bypass the amp meter. Okay. Just put it slightly so it was straight. My right, two two. Now I can go an eighth of a turn. Right, three four. It's quite loud. Right, five two. I don't know if you can see the low speed trim. I drilled a hole so you can get to the low speed trim. The rate of the turn, 0.66. And high, 0.76. That doesn't do anything until I do this. And it can spin down. One more thing to try, and that's the actual Evergo control that would have came with this fan. It actually would have came with this exact model Leslie Lock, although it came with an older one that had a cast iron motor. This is a cast aluminum motor, but I believe it was the same model. I believe it was a DF484. If not, then I'm confused and it was something else. But it was definitely this fan with these blades. It was a Leslie Lock. It might have had a different model number, but I think it had the same. Well, so far I'm very pleased with my new control setup. And that, uh, second capacitor is beautiful, too. I wasn't expecting it to be so pretty. Okay, let's do the Evergo control. So what do we got to do? Let's turn it to 5. And then high. 0.36, okay. <coughs> it's not bad. 4. 0.45. 3. 0.54. Went down to 0.53 as soon as I put the camera on it. 2.59. And for the grand finale, high, which we've seen many times before. 0.79, but working its way down. Off. Well, that's it for the testing rig for today. I have another fan arriving, I think, Friday that'll be real fun to try it with. Uh, I think that's the only fan I have arriving in the mail right now. I got another fan. I got 
another fan that I sent payment for, but they haven't shipped it yet. Then I got a third fan that I made an offer. They accepted the offer, but they haven't sent me an invoice. So... Whoops, I didn't, try, didn't intend to do that. So, <clears throat> so it's plus 10, plus 10. Hi, that doesn't say anything. It doesn't need to. Cap, solid state. Amp, bypass. Deck for decade capacitor. Amp for amp meter. And then the fan. I thought about getting a uh, single outlet for here so that you wouldn't have an extra. But... There was no easy and cheap way to do that, and keep using the old work metal boxes. Um, so I neglected to do it that way, and instead did it the way that I'm doing it. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed these videos. Looking forward to questions and comments.